In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool liquid freeze frame transition in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see, this is what the effect looks like. In this video, I'll break down how to actually create this effect. Now, don't worry, this effect requires no plugins. You can completely create this effect natively in Final Cut without any kind of plugins. So I'll go ahead and show you how to create this really clean transition. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna head over to the second clip. Now you wanna to go to the beginning of the second clip and create a freeze frame. So all you wanna do is you wanna click on Option F and all that did was that just froze the first frame of the second clip. Now I'm gonna take the, the frozen frame or the freeze frame, I'm gonna change the duration to Control D 15 frames. So that means this freeze frame is just going to last for 15 frames. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. It just freezes and then goes into the second video. You wanna take the freeze frame and you wanna place it on top of the first clip and you wanna just line it up just like so. Now if I play the video, this is what it looks like now. It freezes and then transitions into the second video. So what you wanna do next is you wanna head over to the effects panel and you wanna scroll down until you find mask. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take the draw mask and you just wanna apply it onto your actual freeze frame layer. Now I'm gonna do a very quick cut up, but definitely take your time. And all you wanna do is you just wanna cut around the subject. Now just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna do a pretty quick cut out. Obviously if it's like a client edit or a very serious edit, obviously take your time, but just for the tutorial, just for the tutorial's sake, I am just gonna do a very rough cutout. So all you're just doing right here is you're just trying to cut out the, the frozen frame. So you're just kind of having a basic freeze frame. So if I play, this definitely looks pretty cool. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. It's a pretty cool effect, but we wanna spice it up and make it look even cooler. So what you wanna do is you wanna head over to the cutout and you wanna to go to the effects panel and you wanna to go to all and you just wanna type in underwater. So the effect is called underwater. You wanna take the underwater effect and you just wanna place it on to the cutout. Now what you want to do, I guess, well, I can show you what it looks like. So as you can see, it kind of creates this really kind of like warp transition. So what you want to do is you want to head to the beginning of the cutout. And here are just the settings that I use. You can, of course, you know, adjust it to your liking. The size I change to 0 0.5. The speed I change to 30. Now again, these are the settings that I used. And then I went to refraction, changed it to refraction, and changed it to 180. Now basically all you're doing is you're just animating the refraction. So you want to go to the beginning of the cutout, place a keyframe on refraction. Now you want to do is you want to go to the end of the cutout. So I'm going to go to the end of the cutout. I'm going to take the refraction. I'm just going to change it to zero. So all it's doing is just keep the refraction is keyframing from 180 all the way down to zero. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. It creates this really cool kind of like liquid effect. And there you go. You have a really cool liquid um, transition. So that by itself is a pretty cool effect. But what if you want to add that really cool like glow effect and make it stand out and make it look even cooler? So what you want to do is you want to head over to the cutout and you just want to hold down option to create a copy. So all you're just doing is you're just creating a copy. I'm going to go ahead and just disable the top clip just so you actually see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to color board or the color section. I'm going to add a color board. I'm going to take the exposure, take the global all the way up to 100. I'm going to take the saturation, change the global all the way up to 100. And I'm going to change the color to whatever color I want. So let's say we want it kind of like a green color. So it be something like this, kind of like a lime green color. So as you can see, I just adjust the color, I adjust the saturation and the exposure. Of course, you can go through and mess with more settings to kind of get like a specific look, but I just want to show you what I did. So if I play the video, you have this really cool kind of like slime liquid freeze frame effect. And there we go, that's kind of like the first step. Now another really cool effect you can add to this effect is a Gaussian blur. So if I head over to blur, I just want to add a Gaussian blur to the actual like color layer. So as you can see, now you have kind of like a liquid effect, but now it's also kind of like having like a, a glow effect. So in this case, I'm going to take the Gaussian blur and I'm going to change it to 40. So now we have this really cool kind of like glow effect. Again, you can adjust your, your the different settings, but there we go. Now you have a really cool kind of like blur effect and there you go, that looks a lot better. Now another really important thing you want to do to the bottom layer is you want to head to the size of the underwater effect and you want to change the size to 0.17. Now, I, I think it's really important to offset at least the size of the top and the bottom layer, just so it looks a little bit you know, different, so it stands out. 
if I play the video, this is what it looks like. It looks it looks a little bit different. So now you have kind of like this really cool kind of like liquid effect with this really kind of gl a cool glow effect. Now let's go ahead and just enable the top clip. So as you can see, you have this really cool kind of like liquid effect, but it also has this really, really clean um, glow effect. So if I play the video, as you can see, there we go. That looks really, really cool. And of course, these are just the settings that I use. You can go through and adjust them and you have to get a different look. I just want to show you how to actually create this effect. Now, another really cool thing that I did to the actual effect is I went to the bottom layer and I just took the scale and I increased the scale to 110. You don't necessarily have to do that, but that is just what I did. So I'm just going to show you what I actually did to create the intro. So if I play the video, as you can see, there we go. Now you have this really cool kind of like liquid explosion effect. Now you also can go over here and add some motion blur. So I scroll down, add some motion blur. I mean, you want to take some motion blur and just kind of place it um, on top of the animation and then just kind of trim it. So you have some motion blur just to smooth out the animation and make it look, you know, even nicer and just a little bit um, cleaner. So motion blur is a really important step. So as you can see, here is the final effect. You have this really cool liquid explosion freeze frame effect. And of course you can go through and adjust the different settings. I just want to show you what I did, but go through and make your own, customize it, use your own creativity. But that's how I created the intro for this video. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from. Lastly, make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace.